hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel and we are back for another chalk with me collaboration hosted by Teresa b diy i have linked her channel as well as the playlist in the description box below for this particular collaboration i am using one transfer to show you guys how chalk couture transfers are reusable now they say that the, the transfers can be reused up to 10 times and so in this video i'm going to show you two times that i have used the transfer without any problems and showing you the versatility of the types of projects you can make with these transfers now if you're interested in trying chalk couture for yourself i have linked the chalk couture items in my link tree in the description box below for my two projects in today's video, I am using a non chalk couture surface, which means they recommend that you use a surface wax if you're going to use a non chalk couture surface. So I'm going in with the Hello Autumn sign that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and I painted this uh, black with some regular chalk paint. And I'm going in now, I fuzzed my transfer two to three times. That prevents the transfer from stretching when I remove it. And it also prevents the backing to pull off any of my paint from my project. I often use my chalk couture transfers when there are times where I do not want to design anything or want to do a craft that is easy and give a designer look. I'm going in and smoothing it down really well. And then I'm gonna go in with my favorite, bright white, and I'm just going to go all over this transfer. For this project and the next, I'm using just one um, chalk paste, but feel free if you were to try this project out to use other colors. Um, I just love the way the bright white pops off of the black chalk paint. So I'm going in with a generous amount and anything that's left over on my squeegee, I put that back into my container. As I am applying this chalk paste, I'm taking my time and making sure that I get every part of the transfer that I want to appear on my board. Once I'm satisfied with the amount of chalk I've put on the piece, I gently pull um, off my transfer, preventing stretching. And this is how it turns out. I love the way that white pops off of the black. Then I go in with a piece of scrapbooking paper that I had on hand and to um, close off the back part of this piece because I am giving it to someone, I just cut a circle and I go around with hot glue and a tongue depressor to make sure that the paper is um, adhered to the back of this project well. Now I covered up the holes, so now I have to go back in and using a pencil, I just poke through to the other side and I'm not too worried about tearing up the uh, paper because I'm going to go back in and put in the original hanger for this piece. Okay, once the hanger has been put back into place, I'm going in and with some Mod Podge, I believe I have the gloss and I am sealing this project where if the person who I'm giving it to, if they want to put this on their front door, I'm hoping that this Mod Podge will seal it and protect it from the um, weather elements. And then I'm bringing in my blow dryer for some reinforcement. Okay, so looking at this is pretty bland and plain right now. So to jazz it up a little bit, I'm going in with this pick that I picked up from Hobby Lobby and some raffia, just a couple strands um, that I got. I made a bow, a very simple shoestring bow. If you want it to be thicker, add more strands. And if you want it to be thinner, then of course take away and this is all I do. I just tie them like a shoestring and kind of fluff the ends and cut off any excess um, on the tail part. And that's it. Okay, so next I'm going in now and I am going to 
reattach my hanger to uh, the board again and then I'm going to put in or put in I'm going to glue down the raffia and then stick the little fern picks if that's the name of them I don't know it may be a Fraser fur I don't know but stick those on the side I'm trying to place those in a place where you will not see any hot glue sticking out and it will look comp complete I had a couple little holly berries left and these are styrofoam so you have to be super careful with these because the more glue that they have the more they tend to melt this is how the piece turned out i think it is so cute and you guys comment and let me know what you think is this something that you would consider trying is this a gift that you would enjoy um, receiving comment below and let me know and give this video a big thumbs up if you like what you've seen so far. Okay, so going back in, you see that I've already washed my transfer. It's dried. This is actually a couple days later. And I had three pieces of wood left over from a previous project. I've already painted those in the same chalk paint as before. And I'm going to give you a little behind the scenes of my crafting. My favorite right away. Okay, so seriously, that is sometimes, okay, it's not sometimes, all the time when I'm crafting, I'm usually singing and talking to myself. And I think it's so funny um, that you guys only get to hear the voice, the voiceover portions um, sometimes, but uh, a lot of times I do try to keep in the real time voice. Okay, so like I said, I'm going back in with my, um, my same transfer that I used in the previous project. And my chalk pieces are completely dry. Here's the color um, Onyx by Mind Arts is what I use for these projects. And again, I'm gonna go in and I am going to fuzz the transfer because I do not have plans to use this entire transfer. I am only gonna focus on baby Jesus, Mary and Joseph. So here I am just going in and purposely only um, chalking baby Jesus. And now I'm going to go in and do Joseph. The reason why I'm folding up that um, transfer is because I was wanting to make sure that they would be closest to the bottom, but not touch the bottom. I didn't want them to look like they were floating on the um, wood block, if that makes sense. As you can see, they all transferred uh, very well. Again, this is my second time using this particular transfer and I'm very pleased with the outcome. I know that it appears that I was holding that transfer down, but I wasn't applying much pressure. I just didn't want it to slip from that particular spot that I had it in. So if you're coming over from the playlist, thank you for stopping by my channel. And if you like what you see in today's video, I hope that you would consider subscribing. And if you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for your subscription. That means the world to me. And if you've already been living life with Lawn, then thank you so much for returning for another video. And don't forget to set your post notification bell to all. Check out the playlist and let them know that I sent you. Okay, went in with a little bit of Mod Podge to seal down the project. I did make sure to let my chalk paste dry completely. I thought I was recording and apparently I wasn't. Sorry guys. Um, see, this is one of those times when I am talking to myself because my camera wasn't recording. <laughs> you just take three ends, gather it together and um, tie it very simple like a shoestring would tie. Um, or you would tie a shoestring. So I did that. And then I also went in with these two little pieces of a um, a pick that I got from Hobby Lobby. And my, my idea is to, you know, it could be done like this where they're all sitting this way with the little shoestring bow right there. Um, but I think it'll be cute if you also kind of just angled Mary and Joseph and let baby Jesus be that center point like that. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and just hot glue this little part down just to cover where those two par parts met. 
And this is how that project came out. Again, it shows the versatility of the chalk transfers. You only use what you want, and this is exactly what I did. I've shown you how I use the full transfer and then bits and pieces of the transfer. Well guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found some inspiration and potentially had some questions answered that you may have about Chalk Couture. If you're interested um, in finding this transfer, it is in my link tree in the description box below. And a special thank you to Teresa for hosting today's collaboration. Don't forget to check out the other designers on this playlist. So a link has been created within my link tree of all the other designers and their transfers that they used for this playlist please take out what you do not want from your cart or add what you would like in your cart and remember if you're not living life with lawn then you're missing out i'll talk to you in the next one bye